here is uh, an image where we have a given weld that we're interested in segmenting this portion of the weld where these two pipes come together. Yeah, and the weld is highly irregular. It's kind of like curved in, in both in three dimensions. So it's just not a typical, easily segmentable thing. Yeah, to the human eye, like Spix or I could figure out, you know, probably where this weld starts and stops. Mm -hmm. um, but that's gonna take a lot of clicks, certainly. Like we could, like we could go through and like we could, you know, this would be like the really old fashioned way of like creating. You see, apparently this is how they did uh, lightsabers. They, you had to like mask out lightsabers oh. and then you had to use the sub in on the, the lights. And you did it for every frame. So it's just really super expensive because they didn't have any other options. Wow. And now it's one click and runway. Wow. Okay. So open call for someone to make a lightsaber simulator using <laughs> RoboFlow. That's awesome. You so haven't had one? Not a bunch I'm gonna aware. Make one. Okay. Oh my God. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we, so that's, that's the very old fashioned way. Now inside RoboFlow, like uh, before Sam, we did have this thing called Smart Poly uh, and this will still be, still be available for, for users to use. And so if like I'm, I'm labeling the weld area, I'd go like this and you know, the first click I'll, I'll narrate a little bit for, for Swix. I clicked on the welded joint uh -huh. And it got the welded joint, but it also includes lots of irrelevant The rest area. of the, the bottom pipe and then and the parts on the right. But what is that picking up? Is it picking up on like just the color or is it like... Yeah, the um, <clears throat> this specific model probably wasn't pre-trained on images of welds and pipes. And so it just doesn't have a great concept yeah. um, of what regions start and stop. Now, to be clear, I'm not SOL here. Like part of part of the thing with RoboFlow is I can go say, I can add positive and negative points. So I can say, no, uh -huh. I, didn't, I didn't want this part. Yeah. Uh, I and so I said, I don't want that bottom part of the pipe. A little pipe. better. And I still don't want the bottom part of the pipe. Okay, uh, that's almost uh, almost there. There's uh, a lot of space on either side okay. of the weld. Okay, all right, that's better. So so four clicks, we got we got our way to to you know the the weld here. Yeah. Um, now uh, with Sam, so I switched over to Sam, and so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna label the weld portion. Yeah. So he clicked, and it's done. With a single click, it understands the context of, <laughs> of that, that, that weld. Uh, I was labeling fish, so I thought I was working on fish. And maybe some other, I mean, so that's like, that's like one. Okay, that's, that's great of like a, a before and after. But um, let's talk about maybe some of the other examples of things that I might want to work on. Um, I came with some fun examples. Let's do, um, so I've got this image of two kids playing. One of them's holding a balloon. In the background, there's like a brick wall. The lighting's not great. Yeah. Lighting's not fantastic, but... Um, you know, we can clearly make out what's going on. So I'm going to click the uh, the brick wall in the background. Sam immediately labels both sides of the brick wall, even though there is a pole separating view between the left portion of the brick wall and the right portion of the brick wall. Mm. Um, so I can just say like, I don't know, I'll just say thing for ease. Um, or let's say, um, let's say I want to do um, this guy's shoe. And I'm like, actually, no, I, no, I don't want the shoe. I want the whole uh, person. So I can... That's two clicks. Two clicks. And Sam immediately got it. Maybe I want to be even more really precise and get that portion there. And it missed his face a little bit, so we click the face. Um, and that's another thing. Or um, let's jump to maybe... Um, this one's very fun. Okay. So there's a, blue, a chihuahua with a bunch of balloons? Yeah. So here, let's say like I wanted to do... Uh, maybe I just want to do like the eyes, right? Uh -huh. So I'll click like the left eye. That makes the whole chihuahua light up. So it gets the whole chihuahua. Now, here's where interactivity with models and kind of like a new UX paradigm for interacting with models makes some sense. So I'm going to say, okay, I want that left eye. I don't want the like the rest, the rest of, the of the dog. So I'm going to say no on this part of the dog. And then I'm going to go say go yes. To the eye. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to say yes on the other eye. Uh -huh. Boom. All right. Now you got both eyes. I got both eyes and nothing else. Yeah. Um, and I could do... The same thing with the ear. So I could say like, I want the ear. And I click the right ear and it gets the whole, again, the whole dog head. But I could say, no, I don't want the dog head. And it, boom, <laughs> recognizes that I want only the right ear. Um, so can I ask about, so obviously this is super impressive. Can I ask like, is there a way to generalize this work? Like I did this work for one image. Can I take another image of a, the same Chihuahua and just say, do that? The um, Reapply what I did? Uh, to some degree. Yeah. To some degree. It could be interesting. Okay. Um, that's, a, that's a really good call out. To some degree. There's, there's a few ways we could do that. Um, the, probably the simplest way is actually going back to what we were talking about where you label a few examples and then you create your own kind of mini model that understands exactly what you're after. <laughs> yeah. And then you have that mini model finish the work for you. And you just do that within RoboFlow? You just do that within RoboFlow. Of course. <laughs> after I've got um, 
you know, we'll say like 10 of them labeled, then I'll kick off, you know, my own custom model. And the nice thing is that like, right, I'm building my own IP. Like now yes. I've taken the, like, and that's one of the big things that like, I'm pretty excited about with uh, multimodality and especially with GPT and some of these things is that like, I can take uh, what these large, massive models understand and I can distill them down. And this is a generalist, generalist way of saying distill, but I can distill them down into a different architecture that captures that portion of the world and use that model for, let's say in this context, I've got an image up of uh, men kind of in front of a pier and they've got aprons on. I can build my own apron detector. Right. One apron that's you that you clicked on. Second apron. Third apron. Fourth apron. Is that the fifth? Yep. Yeah, and I think that, uh, yeah. Um, and just like that, I've got all my aprons labeled. Very cool. Very fast. Yeah. So I think this is, um, again, this is sort of like the, uh, in some contexts, like if I want to build a task specific model and, and Sam knows everything that it knows, I can either go the route of trying to use Sam zero shot plus another model to label the, the, the mask images that might be limiting because of just the compute intensity that Sam requires to run. And, um, you know, maybe I want to build some of my own IP and make use of some of my own data. Um, but these are kind of the two routes that I think we'll see continue to evolve. And I can use text prompting uh, with Grounding Dino plus Sam to get a sense of which portions of the image I care about. Um, and then I'm probably going to need to do a little bit of QA of, of that. Um, but the, uh, like the data set prep process and the biggest inhibitor to creating your own value in IP uh, just got so much simpler. <laughs> and I think that, um, I think we're the first ones to go live with this. So that's, yeah. I'm, I'm very thrilled yeah, about we're that. We're recording this earlier, but it's uh, when, when this podcast drops, it will be live, uh, hopefully, you yeah. know, if everything goes well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll coordinate with you. So, so, so it will be live. No, it will. It, it will, will be live. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and people can go try it out. Exactly. Um, and I guess it will just be part of the Robofolk platform. And I, I, I assume I'll, I'll add a, a blog post to it. Um, anything else on, so, uh, so we're, we're about to zoom out from Sam and computer vision to use your general AI takes, but uh, anything.